Hello everyone. Today we are going to be making some spring flowers on Seesaw by using the shape tool and also the pen tool. To get started, I'm going to go over here to the left side of my screen and I'm going to click on these three little dots. Once I've opened up this menu, I'm going to click on the shape tool. I'm going to click on this circle shape to get started. And once it's inserted, I can go over here to the color slider and I can move this slider up and down and change the color of my circle. So I can pick any color that I want. I think I'm going to go with pink. I can move this circle anywhere I want to. I can also click on one of these little white circles in the corner to shrink my circle or to make it big. All right, let's make another one. Go over to the three dots, click the shape tool, and choose your circle. You can change the color by moving the slider, and you can place your flower anywhere you want, or your circle. I'm gonna make a few more, maybe a purple one, and one more. I'm going to put mine in different positions. Ooh, maybe a blue one this time. All right, once I've inserted a bunch of circles and I've changed their colors, I am going to go over to the pen tool and I'm going to add some petals to my flowers. I think I'm going to add some blue petals to this blue flower. So I'm going to draw using the pen tool. I'm going to make some petal shapes that go all the way around this blue circle. All right, now if I wanted to do this flower, this one is orange. Let's do some orange flower petals this time. Maybe this flower has really big petals. So you can make some of your petals really, really big. Okay, let's see. Let's do this red one. Maybe this one has lots of really long, skinny petals. Flowers come in all different shapes, colors, and sizes. Inside the flowers, if you want to switch colors, maybe I'll use a dark color like black for this. You could even make little seeds. You could even make little rings inside your flowers. And you could even put some, maybe a little, some more seeds around here too. When you're done making the flowers, you can go ahead and give them stems. I'm going to click this green button. I'm going to choose a really big marker this time. And I'm going to give some stems. Whoop. And there we have it. You can practice making spring flowers on your own by using the shape tool, the pen tool, and the color slider.